Hey, 3D printer people, Geotroid John here again with the Mosaic Palette Plus. This little sweet box right here. And I am currently, I think I'm in the final phases of calibration. It is working. Look at that gorgeous print right there. The CR10 prints well. And once you have the, the Palette Plus tuned in, it too works very well. So yeah, this is a, a full color 3D print out of one nozzle. The, uh, one of the downfalls is the purge block, but it is working. I have fixed any of my splicing issues. You can see the splices are very good now. And I will go into that in depth in a full review of this entire product. I tried to do a time-lapse. I finally got a, a GoPro and I realized the battery on this thing is about 20 minutes of time lapse so I'm not up on the skills yet as the other 3D printer channels but hey I'm still having fun I'm loving this process here uh, the CR10 is a workhorse I still have the Tron XY I just set it down the side so I can make some space for the CR10 I, I want to make a new base for that and I want to upgrade it a little bit more I have the Zone Star here, which is it's a working machine, and I think I'm going to be sending that to my buddy that wants to get into the 3D printing since I got this for free from GearBest. But it does work. It does make parts. I will just be upgrading it before I send it out to him. So that's where I'm at right now with my 3D printing. And actually, I just got notified that <clears throat> one of my buddies that bought a Prusa Mark III i3, he bought two of them, and he doesn't want one, so he's going to sell me the other. So I'll be getting a discounted Prusa Mark III i3 here pretty soon. So everything's coming up for us here on the channel. And hopefully I'll get into a new space, a bigger space, where I can do some more professional videos and keep bringing you guys some more upgrades. So I'll be breaking down in a future video about how to calibrate this machine very well, how to set it up, and some of the things that the manufacturer can do to make it um, more user-friendly. So until then, guys... Thanks for tuning in and uh, come back around next time. Bye.